Hello everybody, this is Dave from ERC, and I got some great news. That's right, I saved money on my car insurance by selling the old Honda. Oh, but I also have some other good news here, and that's that I got the 1200 millimeter Eagle back out of the tree. Yeah, and I want to thank all my viewers that commented and gave me some ideas on how I might get it down. Uh, I appreciate your concern. It was kind of sad when it got stuck in that tree. But, um, yeah, we finally got it back. And we got it back before it started raining, too. Well, here's how that went. So if you watch my previous video, you can see this is what happened. The plane flew into a tree. This is the branches of a bare tree just above a pine tree. And this is the footage. I got the camera back once I got the plane back. And this was the footage that I was capturing. I did that loop-de-loop -loop and then I lost airspeed, couldn't control it, and ended up in the tree. And that's basically how it got there. Of course, I probably could have done better. Everyone can do better, right? So I started poking on the plane with a series of aluminum pipes and sticks that I put together to try to push it down. But all I accomplished was to have the plane fall and nestle into the top of the pine tree where it was hard to get out. And then I just left it there for a while. It was there probably a couple of days while I was trying to figure out what I was going to do next. So eventually we bought a extendable painter's pole from Lowe's. And this is what it looks like. It has uh, several sections you can just extend out and then lock down. Works pretty good for a lot of things, including painting, and has a screw thread on the top where you can add various attachments. And here is my wife using the pole to get that last little piece down. Oh, there it is. It fell down. You got it. So that was the wing ornament. <laughs> it's 23 feet long, but to get the plane down, we had to add an extension we just put some uh, metal pipe on the end and duct taped it on there to give us an extra six feet. Plus I was on a ladder. Okay, so now we're doing the disassembly here. That's what it looks like. Can you see this part? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Most people would probably know what that was, but just in case you don't. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. That's all she wrote. Yep. And I want to salute Laura for her help and her advice. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, viewers. So the only appreciable damage seems to be the hinge on this right here. One of the V-tail elements broke. And I can just glue that back with a little foam tack. No problem. And then one of the wing ornaments ripped off. And that'll be easy to glue back. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Of course, the dead battery. The battery is toast. Totally zero volts. And uh, the camera still appears to be working as well. So we got lucky. Even though it was up there a couple of days, we did get it back in pretty good shape. I've taken the 980 kV motor off. And I'm going to put on this 1400 kV. And this is a, a Sunny Sky motor as well. This is the X2212-9 KV 1400 version 2. You can see it right there. It's the same size, mount, and everything. And I'm just going to put it back on where the other one was. And I'm going to use this prop, which is same as stock. It just happens to be gray instead of orange. But it's the 8x4 prop. Okay, just thought I'd try the Eagle after putting the 1400 kV motor on it. So we're going to go out and fly it and see how it does. Yeah, I know they hit the balls. Oh, there they are down there. Okay, they're down there now. Well, let's just see if we can fly around in here. Maybe they won't complain. 1400 kV motor after the rebuild. Repair from being in the tree for a couple days. <laughs> Oh man, what a lot more power. Ton more power. 
Look at that loop to loop now. No problem doing a loop to loop. Well, I'm having trouble with the ailerons. You can bring it in. Having trouble with the ailerons, I don't know why. Hmm. Ailerons seem to be working now. Let's check the linkages here. Seemed like the ailerons were acting funny, like they didn't work anymore, but... Oh, I'll bet that was it. That thing came loose. Yeah, this little thing here was coming loose and causing it to act funny. That could be what it was. That's on the other side from the one I glued. I believe, yeah, this is the one I glued earlier. Now this one's come off. Well, looks like I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with the ailerons or the rudder or anything. I just think this came loose and now I need to glue it. Of course, I had to land quicker than I wanted to because of the wing malfunction there. But let's see what the battery reads. Oh yeah, still 81%, so that motor didn't draw the battery down that much, so it should be okay. So the addition of the 1400 kV motor I think is going to make a lot of difference in the way it flies. It has a lot more power now and it's a lot more maneuverable. So I think it's going to be a very enjoyable plane in the future. But I do have the 1430 millimeter plane on order. The 1430 millimeter Eagle is on order and I'll be building that too. And I think that'll be a, a great one to fly. So you might want to check out that build series. All right, so stay tuned for that in the future. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification so you get the notifications. All right, thanks for watching and thanks for all your help. Everybody that gave me help to get this down and support really motivated me to get it back. See you next time.